Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. With all the technology around us, we would think we'd have more time in our hands when in fact it seems we have less and less. If we could buy time, especially during the holidays, we would. Of course, when it comes to day-to-day -day cooking, it's hard to prep a decent meal in such little time. And let's be honest here, we all wish we could hire a personal chef during this crazy month, right? In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my slow cooker beef stew. This is such a nice flavorful dish loaded with yumminess. It needs only a little time to prep in the morning after, of course, you're done dusting your slow cooker. Hmm? So my friends, let's get cooking! So in a small bowl or just use your measuring cup, why not? Less dishes to do, right? We'll add garlic salt and give a quick stir. And then we'll set aside. Next, we'll place a cubed beef in a large bowl and using a sieve, We'll dust the meat with the flour mixture by just tapping on the side, just like this, see? Then we'll cover with a fair amount of flour and stir it after each addition. Although it's a lot of flour, we'll do that a few times because this is what helps to thicken the liquid while cooking. Okay, now in a slow cooker, we'll combine potatoes, the floured cubed beef, celery, carrots, onions, and the frozen peas. And we'll give it a stir. There's a lot of ingredients in this recipe, as you can see by how full the crock pot is, so take your time. To this, we'll pour red wine and beef broth. We'll give another stir, which this time will be easier. But here's another way. If you do have a very big bowl, it is much easier to mix everything and then transfer to the slow cooker. But mine wasn't big enough, as you can see. So let's continue. We'll add garlic, paprika, Worcestershire, barbecue seasoning, turmeric, Montreal steak spice, freshly ground black pepper, and parsley. We'll stir once again very well before adding the last ingredient, which are bay leaves, and we'll cover them a little. We'll set the timer on low for eight and a half hours and forget about it. So we're back to our beef stew. Now, if you like the sauce the way it is, you're done. Otherwise, if you're like me and want a thicker gravy, then we'll do the next step. So we'll mix cornstarch with cold water and pour over the stew. We'll stir until very well blended and we'll close the lid and let go for another 15 minutes. And my friends, this is our slow cooker beef stew. Served with crusty bread, this delicious dish is comfort food to the max. There's some prep to do in the morning, but by the time you get home, the aroma of this stew floating in the air welcomes you to a flavorful dinner. It's like having your own personal chef at home. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appetit!